All right. Here we go. You good, Tom? Yep. Uh, Thomas or Tommy tonight? Thomas. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Alex Alexander. Wow. We're mm. blessed. Let's get a load of this, guys. Where are you getting this? Nowhere. D nowhere else. Where Where could you... Where's the only space that you could get it? This space and this space only. And his faces are the... <laughs> he has the best faces. <laughs> you ever see guitar face on people? You ever watch that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> guitar face. You know who didn't have a guitar face oh, is Eddie man. Van Halen. Really? He I argued, think he did. Well, he did. He he was the best looking guitar player. Nobody held and played the guitar. Did you see him do the top skip jumps? Unbelievable. Yep. Keep it going, baby. Most relaxing three minutes of my life, or at least this week, is this. All right, a couple things to mention. First of all, thank you, Joey Z, as usual, for your Brooklyn beautiful baked pizza, which will be arriving shortly here at the space at Port Jefferson. I want to bring your attention to this beautiful flag in the background, donated by TAG, T-A-A-G, mm. right here in Port Jefferson. Uh -huh. um, artisans make these flags, normally veterans. This is a veteran-made flag, and we appreciate that. And now it is part of our show. It looks great. Doesn't wow. it? Mm -hmm. Really good. And I also want to mention, what else happened? This well? First of all, we're missing Paul, so shout out to Paul. Where is Paul? Paul! <laughs> I think Paul worked too much this week. All of a sudden... I saw his live stream. All of a sudden, like, Paul doesn't tell us, but we have to find out through Facebook live events that Paul is doing a live event. Why weren't we invited, Paul? Why weren't we invited? Where was it? It was... <laughs> It was at Suffolk Studios, which in, is in Patchogue. Really? Yeah, with Diane Tucci. We love Diane. We love Paul. We love uh, John Gold. We love them all. Really? But we're not invited. It's like 13 musicians I I, in the room. I, I'm done with the Facebook invites because you get a billion of them. I want to be personally invited. Of course. What, you want to laminate a handwritten invite? <laughs> I, I, want want a a I want a pigeon to uh, yeah. drop a note. But he was here. He didn't say anything about it. Exactly. So, Paul, you got to let us know because we'll support, we'll reshare. You know, your career is important to us. So, uh, let us know. And uh, I guess we still have the opportunity to do that. But it was cool. What they did was they they took the um, they took the idea of like just creating, which you and I are used to as musicians, and right. and, and showing people a peek of what that might look like. And uh, Ryan Welsh is doing his thing back in the studio. And they're all good guys and girls, so that was that was pretty cool. So uh, kudos to those guys, um, Mr. Michael Zinn, and uh, we're doing our thing on the North Shore. They're doing their thing on the South Shore, and um, together we'll get through the winter somehow. Can you imagine if we shut down again? That's what they're talking about already. I, I can't even I, I can't even get a grip on it because I'm still like recovering from the first one. It, it would be bad, right? I don't know how we could go through it again. Let's go back in time. I will tell you that what I loved about, <laughs> I loved about the March shutdown is I never played more Monopoly and made more puzzles in my life. And I did, I did enjoy that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. A little play with my cat. You know, things like that. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of puzzles. Huh? A lot of puzzles. <laughs> a lot of puzzles. Oh, <laughs> wait. You want to be part of the show? We're here. We're here. We're here. We'll we'll get get you you Alex, yeah, let's get you in and... Let's get you. No guitar. Let's uh, just talk to uh, us. Yeah, How you uh, doing, buddy? Good, How was good, your week? Good, good. It was good. Good. Thanks for asking. Uh, you know, just a non-eventful man. You know, it's uh, no gigs. Only one. I have one regular gig a week. What Where is that gig? Uh, uh, Michelangelo's in Riverhead every Saturday. Oh, I've really? Been there for a year. Yeah, it's an Italian restaurant. They probably love you there. Yeah, it's, I do well there, man. You have, uh, do really well there. You doing yeah. dishes there? I'm doing dishes. I'm doing. I'm making a mozzarella. How is the eggplant parm? Very good. The food is good there. Is it hard to get the off the pan? Rolling beans, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to clean the pan, right? You know what's really good there? The best, really, the Italian food. <laughs> of course. No, uh, Michael's still doing it, right? So this is the thing, right? I, I must say, I just, I told you guys, I did an interview with uh, Richard Branchafort. Branchafort. Don't pronounce the e. Fifty-one years publishing. The point is, when you're in a craft, and Michael, I know who you're talking about. He was going to sell many times. He can't. He can't sell. He yeah, loves he, what he's doing. He has four or five. They have four restaurants. Oh, we went the other yeah, way. Yeah. Say that. 
That's what we do. They boilerplate. I'll it, be you know, podcasting at 90. Let's just make it official. Yeah. So one of the things Tommy and I talked about during a week, and I'm looking at your hands. I'm looking at your hands. I, I Certainly right. my hands. Yes, I'm noticing your hands. And I'm saying to myself. That's scary. I am in a habit of using sanitizer to the extent that I'm really a little scared about. It doesn't do anything. It you know doesn't do did? anything. I swear to God. Listen, I don't want to check. I oh. bought a gallon of vodka that was um, really high proof. I've had it for six months. That, that's two, that's uh, Wednesday night meetings. This is Tuesday night. <laughs> I spray it all over me. I, it's vodka. What's it? Medicinal vodka. It's, uh, it's uh, 90 proof. Uh, whatever the proof it is. I know why we keep you on this side <laughs> of the room. Christian, help me out. It's, uh, it's, you, you should really use Everclear. That way you can strip paint too while you're at it. Yeah, well, I mean, I drink that. Oh, okay, right. So, Tommy, we, we talked about this because you, you uh, attend a gym. If you want to name the gym, I fine, I go to Planet Fitness. And oh, there he what, goes. What, what I always said was the best thing about Come it in. is it's $10 a month. And the worst thing about it is that it's $10 a month because of the, uh, the crowd that you get. You don't always get the, uh, the best crowd there. What time do you go? Which one do you go to? I go to Medford. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, so what happens there? So what happens is there's, there's like a wave of sanitary OCD going on right now. And what happens is I come up to an empty treadmill, all right, a completely empty treadmill. And I get on and I program it and I start running. And a woman comes and she starts frantically slapping my shoulder. But stop touching me. Why? <laughs> <laughs> He's a little uptight. <laughs> and um, this, is, this is part of the uh, act. Yeah. And um, I've got headphones on. So I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. And she's slapping my shoulder. And she's, she's got a handy wipe. And she's going, I have to clean the machine. Is that an employee then? No, I she's no, a, no. No, she came off the machine and she traveled across the universe to, to get the... the handy wipe. By the, the time the it got there, it was so in work, the To get wipe. the spray bottle and the, and, the, and the paper towel. And then she came all the way, winding all the way back. And by now, you know, it's like you don't, you don't put like a, a sign on there, go on, gone for lunch. Now, let me ask you this. It's a treadmill. Do you care? That she wiped it down or not? No, I, I don't totally care. get. This. I don't care. He, he's got a few. He's got what an hour to work out, and right. you just want to work out. But this is the thing: any germ is already. I've already got it. Correct. It's like I'm here, and I'm running. And she's now, trying to bring back time. Sure. Now you can't start like pushing, tapping someone that's running in a direction. No, you can't do that. To wipe down the machine, it's hysterical. It, it's I a, actually paused the machine. Because she was so crazy with her, with her, you know, sanitary stuff. I actually paused and, and hopped off. I said, fuck it. Just clean, clean the machine. I would have gotten off the machine and gotten onto another one and just watched her clean the machine I was just on. That's one way to do it. But the <laughs> thing is, <laughs> like, you really want to clean this so bad, go but ahead. But the thing is, these, the people are, are washing down and before they get on, after they get off, and it's a whole so, thing so, now. So let's rewind, since we've touched upon maybe going back into lockdown. I want, right, right. I want you guys to answer this honestly. When this first hit... When we talk about the sanitize, everything was, hey, you got to sanitize. It wasn't just wash your hands. It was sanitize. So there was one time, and I'll admit it, that we actually sanitized the bags of our groceries. And anybody watching can admit that. Oh, what? early, early in. Absolutely insane. What? Very early in wait March. A minute, wait a minute. Early in March, that was, that was a thing. The bags. You're talking right. about brown paper bags or wiping them Whatever down. it was. I think it was plastic bags, but still. Yeah, <laughs> right. I, I really? recall. But I recall it was everything that. in the bag. That's insane. No, it is insane. They actually make a lubricant now that has sanitizer in it that I used. And what, what happened? For is what? Wait a minute. Wait we a minute. Would wait, time out. Time we out. We were taking out. items. Stop. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. 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 You have a lubricant with sanitizing agent that you use all the time. And that was, that was the punchline. What are you using it for? He's still. You're making him giddy. Don't make him. <laughs> Don't make Christian him wants an answer for that. <laughs> I got it on 42nd and 8th Avenue. So, so Tommy, the point is... Diamond District? <laughs> the point is that as a society, right, the habit has started, and it's tenfold now, because I find myself just at... Right, I walk right. into a room, tss, I walk out of a store, tss, 
Washing your hands is one thing, but it's gotten a little out of control. Is that what you're saying? It's gotten over the top where people feel like if they're, if they're not going back and cleaning their machine, that it's like a federal offense now. Right, but that's the machine. And now let's go to regular life, too. Right. Stores, right. public places, right. just about everything. Is um, I find that I'm using, and some of it's like gasoline. Yeah, that's why you, I use the. I'm serious. I use the vodka. It's 90 proof vodka, right. and it. it, it Do you I, get? I, I bought a gallon of it for thirty dollars, and I've used it for six months now. I have it in a spray thing. I spray my hands. I spray. He's not kidding. Yeah, I, I know he's not and, kidding. And I would get just alcohol. I know. would get the flavored vodka, so you have a nice smell every time. Now, you do interesting it. enough, uh, there was a science letter last week on the internet and it was talking about the people in India are having the oh. least amount of illnesses from COVID and it's the dirtiest place in the world. Whoa. And what they're saying is Where's that HR? They're, they're being exposed to so much that their antibodies are so strong. Right. That's so what why they're saying is hand sanitizers are uh, not good. Antibiotics really. are killing human beings. I agree with that. Right? Because you're not allowing your system to build its natural immunities. Right, so it's very interesting what's happening here. Do you understand I'll, that, Christian? Yeah, I, I, I Pla follow. Places that don't use a lot of hand sanitizer are getting used no, to but antibiotics just the are body. Very, yes, very bad for you. Absolutely, antibiotics. a lot of parents are not allowing their kids to disinfect their hands all day now because they want to try to build their immunity. It go everything goes in a circle. You know, you go all the way to the right, and then you try to get back to the middle somehow with some type of uh, normal thinking without going out of your mind with this stuff. What I find, too, is that the use of these products creates more trash and garbage and recyclables, too. I don't know about you guys, but I mean, no, I have a family at home. You don't even have kids at home. You have, what, a cat, a dog, and a pig? What do you have? Anything? I got, Noah's I, got, I got two hands and an imagination. I, I have two <laughs> completely full... 50 gallon I'm not kidding around two completely full I'm a freak about recycling two completely full plus some recyclables at the end of two weeks which means that everything wow. we buy whatever even if it's grapes it's in plastic that's the problem that's and a big problem that's a problem and so it just we buy the sanit the amount of sanitizing lotion and spray and all that that must have been sold in the last nine months but must be killing the ozone. But it, it is, but you know what? From what I understand, and it's probably not a good topic to get on, it's only airborne. It's what you breathe in. It doesn't lay well, on That is surfaces. the topic. That's fine, yeah. But it doesn't, from, you know, and it, you could go on because there's such disinformation out there. It doesn't lay, live on a surface like a bar over there, the bar. Which is what it's we thought It's only it when you breathe it in, from what I understand. Okay. But Christian may want to interject well, into that. But I, I, <laughs> I didn't Dupt. say a word. Dupt. People Dupt. are going. I know you were thinking. Listen, Dupt Alex. I was thinking. But I didn't say. People anything. are going cocoa puffs for the for the for the hand sound at all the sanitizers. Right. That's all I can tell you. I, I think where we're going to is you ask yourself at this time next year, will you have the crazy ladies coming around you trying to clean? Because you're right. It's it's out of control. And everything is. Well, first of all, all the machines are soaking wet from the, this, the, they're getting sprayed, they're probably going to start falling apart and rusting out. Yeah, that or you could trip and fall and things like that. I yeah. mean, it's, it's really ridiculous. Yeah. The good thing is that the gyms are completely empty right now. That is good. And, they're, and, uh, and hopefully they don't completely shut down. And you're always in the morning, so you're not there at 9.45 when they're trying to close, right? No, unless I'm looking for my phone. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, they're closing at 10 now, right? Restaurants closing. and Oh, and right, gyms right. That's the new yeah. That's the new thing. They I said... Can't, I can't. Go ahead. What time are they closing at your restaurant? Yeah, I, I came home from the gig on Saturday night, and uh, the roads were empty. But all the patrons got to be out of the restaurant by 10. Right. But since I'm an employee, I hung out and had a couple of cocktails. Not you. Oh, wow, he's I'm got a professional. Problem. But yeah, man, it was like the roads were like dead, man. It was a real. That weird is feeling. a strange. That's strange times that 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 could be. But you think about it. If everything's closed at ten, then what are you really driving around for? It's yeah. gonna, you know. You know, there's gonna be. You look at Germany and, and Europe, and they were shut. They shut down there. Texas, and at Chicago, they're shutting down. Um, 
Utah, I think they, they, they're shutting. Oh, it's so we're just here, we're just going to be on our way to the same I, thing. I, I I don't want to sound like the. Uh, I, I know, understand. Don't, don't kill the message. Yeah, no, I got but, you. Uh, Alex, what so songs do you know that can bring us out of this segment that have to do with shutdowns? Ah, uh, shutdown. You know any Johnny Cash? Yeah, man. Yeah. I'll hear that train it come. I hear that train a come rolling around the bend. Oh yeah. I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when I'm sunk inside this twist. What's that? Time keeps dragging on. And I hear that whistle blow. I hold my head. When I was just a baby, my mother told me so. Always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns. But I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. And I hear that trainer coming, hey, I'll hold my head. 